Hi everyone, so um, I've been doing an Arduino tutorial in my mobile um, using my mobile Arduino compiler but I also want to do an Arduino tutorial using my uh, laptop computer screen because uh, uh, so for some people they find it is easy to go with the computer and sometimes I can explain things very nice manners things like this so I think it's better to go with that also so I will go with that as well and go with this as well you can go follow anything uh, any of the either right so as you all know um, I don't want to get get much into what Arduino is and uh, what you can do with Arduino and things like that I just want to get more focus more on this uh, programming aspect of this Arduino so how you can code Arduino right so anyway just to say something precisely so I can say tell more in the upcoming videos about Arduino but still now just to uh, precisely give you an uh, uh, idea uh, about Arduino you all know Arduino is a programming uh, Arduino, Arduino board is a um, what do you call uh, a programming board that can contain um, an IC right an IT, IT mega IC so you can see it here so there's an IC you can see right so we are simply programming this IC uh, with the code that we have in our mind so whatever we have in our brain uh, we are simply uh, passing it to the IC okay sorry I'm using my paint so forget about my body so let's say this is Brian so you are passing it to this IC right so it is an microcontroller or IC so we are programming the IC using the code and this board has all these uh, environment that is needed for the IC to function and for the user to uh, simply uh, you know interface with this uh, IC right so you can see the numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we call them as pins so they are pins so you can see pins are going up to 48 49 right so here also you can see there are pins that starting from a0 to a15 so uh, what we can normally do is we connect or take a wire and connect through these pins you can see the holes here so you can take a wire and put inside and take that wire outside and you can connect it either with a sensor or an output or something like that right so for example if you want to read a temperature from a temperature sensor so you simply connect this take a wire from this a0 pin and connect it to the sensor so, so then you can program the board to read the value of the sensor using a0 pin and uh, display the temperature value so something like that we can do such kind of things also we can do this kind of these pins also for our whatever the purposes right so we while we are going through the tutorials we will do further things so i will show this picture and you explain you what we are going through and what we are going to do right then you will understand how to connect this so i'm not going to shoot videos real-time videos with the arduinos because that will be a bit hard and time consuming so we will go with these pictures meanwhile you can do the real practicals with the help of the help of the tutorials if you go through some issues you can simply ask me in the comments i will try to help you out right so for the moment you why what you should know is arduino is a microcontroller um what do you call arduino is basically a microcontroller and also with the board that board can help you to you know the user to interface very well with the microcontroller and do things and also uh, simply saying the board has a environment so this is an environment for the ic right so you are simply programming the IC and using the board with the environment, right? So that is what the purpose of the Arduino, Arduino microcontroller, so Arduino programming board. So you can do so many things um, that you want, like you can read the temperature values or sensor values and you can give outputs using these uh, LEDs as indicators or using buffers or sending data to some other places using internet modules, sending data to the cloud. So, so many things you can see, do, you can send SMS using um, GSM modules, things like that okay so i think this basic is enough but anyway still uh, while we are starting and going through this uh, you will be getting what uh, we are up to right so i will get into the programming first and then with the time while you're doing practicals i will explain the tutorial i mean this practical aspect as well that board and all those things then you will catch up both parallelly right so what i will do is i will open this so this is the interface uh, we are using to program arduino so you can download it from um, um, I don't know whether I can open this up. Let me see. You can download it from Arduino website. So if you could go and say Arduino download. Okay. So Windows, you know, whatever. So from this page, you can download. So you can simply Google and download the software. And uh, you can use right from here. So I'm not getting into that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, uh, uh, this code and I, I'm going to explain it, right? So if you install, I will in the next video class, I will explain you how we can install the software and play around. But still, 
today I'm going to give a concept or an idea about how the, you can um, code Arduino right doing programming Arduino right so you can see uh, there are two lines here with two what you call these these symbols I don't know the name of this so we call them comments right so these comments are written for the developer or the coder the person who is going to code to understand the purpose of understand something right so this is not the part of the programming this is for the person who is reading the code okay so what they tell to us is put your setup code here to run once and put your main code here to run repeatedly so what they are saying is please put your setup code here so, so some code uh, code that is related to the setups you know what setups means right so and to run once so this will run one time and again he's they say please put your main code here to run repeatedly so this is the main code that means whatever the code you you mainly has to focus on what 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 actually you want to happen you are right here right and to run repeatedly that means that will be repetitively running right so here we see two things we want something to run one time because that is set up set up if you are doing one time that's enough <coughs> and we want to something to run repetitively right that is a main code that in the sense uh, a particular part of the code you want to run repeatedly for example <coughs> If you're going to read a temperature value and keep continuously monitoring it for 24 hours, sh should that monitoring scenario happen one time or repetitively? You should know it has to happen repetitively, right? Because you want to happen it for the whole time, right? For the 24 hours. So again and again for every second or every moment, the temperature value has to be read it, right? It has to be read. So that kind of scenario, right? So um, let me let me tell you something. So what do you mean this here here means where so what do you mean here by here means where it's in the concept is here means the place that is limited by two curly braces you see there are two curly braces here we have two curly braces right and also this text also written into another two curly braces okay so let's say for the moment i will make some, make some space here let's say for the moment the area that is limited by these curly braces we will call it as a one block we will say it as a block okay so what is the name of the block is we will say it as a setup block see there is something written as void setup and then two curly braces are opened here right yes or no yes so we will call it as a setup block so in now what you can tell is <coughs> what whatever we write within the setup block we run once time one time it, it runs once okay and that is a setup code okay and we can see that another text is there that is written inside two curly braces we will call another block this is also block okay what is the name of the block something written as void loop we will call it as a loop block okay loop means what something happens repeatedly right so whatever the code you write within this block should run repetitively that means continuously okay so for the moment if you understand in the Arduino programming language or concept there are two blocks we handle with right only those two blocks are the game everything is done within within these two blocks one is called a setup block and that setup block contains the code setup codes and that code should run only one time or that code is going to run only one time and there's another block called void loop block okay and that block is going to run repetitively so and whatever you want to write inside this loop block is your main code so what you want actually to happen should be written inside the loop block and every block is limited by or bounded by two curly braces okay so both blocks so the area of the block or, or what the code what should be written inside the block should be written inside those two curly braces so they are the area governed by those particular blocks if you understand up to this we can stop the video here and i will catch you up in the next video with further explanations guys so thanks for watching guys have a great day ahead